Hi and welcome Cancer, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your April 2021 tarot forecast. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, believe what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. And for those that regularly follow me, you're rocking awesome. Love your support. You can also stay connected with me on Instagram. Do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there, health, fitness tips, as well as recipes. So come and say hi. And uh, you can also get the extended version of this reading that includes these predictions. We also go right into your general energies. Uh, the monthly one includes a love forecast as well as higher guidance from spirit. So all you need to do is hit the join button on my channel to get instant access to it or the very first link in the video description box below. Yeah, there is a small monthly fee going to cost you less than a cup of coffee once a month. And you get the extended versions of the mid-month as well as the monthly readings from me. Uh, it's a bit like getting two personal readings a month from me, so go check it out if you want to get access to those. And my personal readings are also open. Uh, I only do them a couple of days a week, so it's pretty much first in, first serve. They're deeply transformational. Answer the questions you most like answered. Look at your chakra balance, your general energies, as well as high guidance from spirit. Uh, also meditate on your Akashic record, past life information, as well as your current energy. So if you're interested in getting a personal reading, I'll put that info on here as well as the booking info down below. Let's get started, Cancer. So we're going to dive straight into predictions with the beautiful Angel Wisdom Tarot. And let's see what you need to know. You've pulled the High Priestess, which is very much going within, seeking your spiritual guidance, uh, connecting into your higher states of intuition, some quiet time out, contemplation, meditation, trusting the messages coming to you. Wow, this is beautiful. You got the star, and she's just like kind of pouring silver into the river out of two pots, yeah? Uh, your dreams coming true, um, beautiful positivity, optimism can represent the end of challenging, difficult times in your life, things coming together for you. And you've also pulled renewal, yeah, which is, there's a family here, it can represent a family, can represent self, um, wanting to go in a new direction, again, end of difficult, challenging times. Um, Opening up to new experiences, possibilities. You've also got the three of air. Um, there's a beautiful angel here. It represents Archangel Azrael holding her hand. Yeah, she's got a heart on her um, on her dress. So kind of feels like wearing your heart in your sleeve. It can represent deep sadness, grief, loss, overcoming a certain difficult challenge situation in your life. Yeah. Um, Mm. Obviously not going to affect everyone. So many major arcanas coming out. you got the justice card, yeah? So if there's anything untoward going on in your life, whether it's with others, whether it's with the legal system, it's all about fairness and balance coming in, yeah? If you act with integrity, accordance to your values, do what you can. It's also about standing up for yourself, yeah? It says very much that justice will come into play. Wow. You've also got the wheel. Um, you know, she's about to spin the wheel, and there's so many options here. Uh, it can represent, again, cycle completions, fresh cycle starting. Um, the wheel can also represent travel, possibly a new vehicle, um, sudden movement forward. I don't think any other sign for quite some time has pulled out so many major arcanas, yeah? you got the chariot. The chariot always, always represents action, your willpower, your determination, the effort you've made to bring achievement, success into your life, being recognized for those achievements sitting directly under the star. Jesus, Cancer. You got the sun coming out, sitting directly under renewal. So whatever changes you're about to make or going through are going to bring such positivity, optimism, change of fortune coming in, um, plans working out perfectly. OK, 
Okay, that one's flying out. Um, you got the ego and it's sitting directly under a time of great sadness, yeah. Um, he's cutting through the chains around a wrist. So it means you can release yourself from any time from stuck states, getting stuck in certain um, emotions, recycling through the past, holding yourself stuck, yeah. Unhealthy habits, you can release yourself at any time. What else does Cancer need to know? Mm, really thinking about it. Thank you. This is super interesting. You've got the Seven of Fire. She's protecting herself, standing up for yourself. It's sitting directly under the Justice card. Um, mm -hmm. Some of you may need to stand up for your rights in some aspect or for yourself, yeah? It's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, it's, it's coming through, channeling through is in a work situation. Can be the justice system, the legal system. All right, let's put you some clarifiers with the beautiful Muse Tarot. I've got two here. Oh, stunning. You got the Muse of Materials. There's just so much blossoming on either side of this year. It represents absolute abundance, success coming your way, all the hard work paying off, yeah. And you've also got the two of voices, so just watch this. She's pulling her hair out in two different directions. Overthinking things, complicating things, and they don't need to be, not seeing the positives in situations. There's an open door at the bottom, which you can't see when you're stuck in your head. Yeah. You've also pulled the page of inspiration, which is very much about your ideas, your creativity, trusting in those, yeah. And the night of materials, which means taking action, doing the hard work to bring your abundance in. So you're co-creating with the universe as well as it being attracted to you. And you've got the eight of materials, which very much speaks to your mastery, uh, your experience, the things you've learned over time. Uh, the contributions you can make, being recognised for your experience, your knowledge, your wisdom, the skills. All right, let's put you some angel healing messages. Ah, oh, you pulled change. Not surprised this has come out. Life is a journey. It would be very unfulfilling if every step was exactly the same as the last. Because life is always changing, it's forever fresh and new. Allow your life to unfold gracefully. Be grateful for what was, is, and is yet to be. Uh, you've also put Archangel Michael. The path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. You can now move forward with ease and confidence. You will achieve your heart's desires. All over your reading, dare I say. And you've also pulled Divine Mystery. Along with the sun, the moon, the earth, the stars, you're all part of one creation, a divine mystery unfolding. Be present, feel the power of now, be in the moment and witness the wonder of all that is. Very much a focus on you being in the present, not recycling through things from the past, yeah? All right, let's put you some higher guidance from the beautiful uh, Divine Circus Oracle. What is it Cancer needs to know at this time? Uh, you've pulled Steampunk Priestess, number seven, which can often represent healing. Let's pull you up the guidance. A lot of fire energy in that. It says Cancer. One, two, three, trust in what you see. Four, five, six, the truths behind the tricks. Seven, eight, nine, clarity divine. You shall see what you need to see at the perfect moment it shall be. Appearances can deceive, yet when the time is right, incisive intuition slices through the illusion and the truth hits you between the eyes. That is the perception of reality behind the illusion. You know it when you experience it and you know that you have to trust in what you see. 
So give yourself permission to acknowledge and accept the power of those insights. Don't talk yourself out of the truth. Intuition might only last for a second, yet it can change the way you look at things forever. Setting you on a more authentic course and allowing for changes to take place that you might previously believed impossible. This oracle comes to you when there is more to something or someone than initially meets the eye. You might need to look closer to understand what's happening or to trust in what you're already perceiving. Even if part of you doubts it because the truth of the matter in such cases would be so at odds with superficial appearances. She reminds you to trust your insight no matter how startling, surprising or shocking that intuition might be. She also brings a reminder to get focused on what matters to you. Then you won't lose precious energy by either worrying about what could go wrong or trying to sort something out in your head. When the time is right, even the most confusing situation is going to come into focus and your understanding of the matter and what you need to do or not do will be crystal clear. Set an intention for clarity and trust in what you see. Kind of feels like there's something that you want to get clarity on. You might be confused about. Um, it's going to come to you. Yeah, it's going to come to you. Wow, very powerful messages coming through Cancer. If you're watching the free version of this, you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to come into the extended with us, along with the VIP members, we're going into that next. Uh, there is definitely, there's so much focus going on in this beautiful transition happening in your life, yeah? In the extended, we're going to have a look at renewal. Um, absolutely. We're also going to have a look at the star, which is, you know, this beautiful the efforts you've been making, bringing in this gorgeous success, achievement, your dreams coming true. And uh, there's also, I've got to say, overarchingly, there's this focus on justice, yeah? There's something going on there in terms of whether it's with others, whether it's in the workplace. Um, mm -hmm. And we're also going to go into love for singles, couples, someone you're thinking about, love forecast as well as high guidance from spirit. So all you need to do to get the extended again is hit the join button or the very first link in the description box below. For those of you leaving us now, make sure to come back again, come and say hi. And uh, for VIP members, those wanting to get the extended, we're going right into love and romance next. So hang around.